Hi, I'm U.S. Secretary of Education, Miguel Cardona. Happy to be here with three amazing educators, Catherine, Adrian, and Alejandro. Welcome. Are you hybrid, remote, in-person? I am still teaching from home. The parents actually found success, and so they didn't want to ruin the consistency. Yeah, and yeah. so they had to make a just choice about uh, a month ago, and they decided for the fourth quarter that they wanted to stay. Here in Washington, D.C., we've had universal pre-K since about 2008, uh, and I've seen the drastic improvements it's made to our district. We know pre-K pays dividends. The data shows, the research shows, that students that are able to benefit from pre-K services are more likely to go on to honors courses when they get to high school and are more successful in school. Yeah, absolutely. I have some kids at home and then I have some in person. Those are the hard days, the concurrent yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what they did at the elementary level is they had teachers just for just for mm -hmm. kids, but that number changed during the year. Yeah, right. yeah. So yeah. it was a constant yeah. chest, you know, mm -hmm. it's yeah. like crazy. It's a good idea that President Biden is including $9 billion to um, help our high school graduates to succeed by diversifying our teaching staff. $9 billion just for that. That's amazing. That's transformational. You know, as educators, the, the importance that that has, not only for uh, our students of color, but for all students to see teachers that reflect the beautiful diversity of this country. $2.8 to support Grow Your Own programs. Our, our future teachers are also our current paraeducators, our current climate specialists. There's almost $2 billion to support mentorship programs and leadership programs for teachers that want to take that next step. And of the $9 billion, there's $1.6 billion allocated for those shortage areas. I was lucky enough where all my kids came back oh, in person, so yeah. I don't know if, who's more excited, they or... They need to be around they each other. They need to, and... mm -hmm, each other and with their teacher. I'm thinking my rising first graders, they, some of them haven't even opened a backpack in school. You know, they've been virtual all year. They don't even know what it's like to be in a school yet. Our students have been through a lot this year. How is the administration looking to support them in the, in the year coming up? You know, the American Rescue Plan provided $130 billion, which is something, you know, I've been in education over 20 years, I've never seen anything like this. The funding is there to provide social and emotional support for our students, but also our staff. Better class size. As a first grade teacher, you know, yeah. for those students that missed out on a lot, having smaller class sizes allows you to give them the extra attention that they're gonna need clean and safe buildings, good ventilation systems, and provide food for students. It's tremendous what resources are available with the American Rescue Plan. And I know that when we build back, we're gonna build back better and be innovative so that the experiences of our students is better than what it was before the pandemic.